Hi crafters, happy holidays. So the holidays, Christmas, they are literally my favorite time of the year. I'm literally doing this and watching the Hallmark Channel and I just love getting in the mood for the season. So um, one of my favorite things to do besides wine glasses is coffee mugs. The best, easiest, quickest, and most inexpensive gift you could possibly make. I'm using a coffee mug I'll show you from the dollar store. Um, literally, it's just the best. So um, I'm going to be using an SVG I got from Auntie Tay. And I was looking through the SVGs, and I was not this one. This is what I did for my wine glasses. But um, I saw this, and I was like, oh, my God. I did not think anyone else thought this quote was freaking funny except for me and my brother. Um, so if you don't know, this is from the uh, Christmas Vacation movie, and it's when the uncle or brother or whoever um, uh, thinks that Santa Claus is – real or that Clark actually saw Santa Claus flying through the sky and he goes you serious Clark and my brother and I just like crack up every freaking time at this quote so I'm super excited to use this um, SVG so all you need to do is just download um, it to your computer I do the direct download here and then um, you can just upload it into design space um, and so if you become a member, you get access to all of her SVGs um, for free. So whether you do the business membership or the regular membership, it's all free. So now we'll go over to our design space and we are just going to upload that SVG to our mat. So you just have to click upload click browse, and then wherever your computer stores your stuff, you will just download it. So mine is right here. So we have our SVG here ready to go. We'll click save. And now all we have to do is click onto it and insert it to our mat. So super duper easy. Um, and I have all pretty much all of these colors ready to go. So I'm gonna make him this coffee mug. So now all we have to do is size this. So what I think is a good, so the coffee mug I have, I'll show you. Um, it's a pretty good size, but still I do like to air on a little bit smaller um, for coffee mugs and wine glasses only because um, when you're putting vinyl onto a curved surface, it does get a little more challenging um, the bigger your decal or image is. Um, it's difficult to get it smooth and without the air bubbles. So I this is a little bit bigger than three and a half. So I think this is a good size for the mug I'm going to be doing. So that's, a, again, the great thing about doing these SVGs that are ready to go is now all we have to do is make it. So I'm going to come over here to make it, and you can see we have our gray mat, our red mat, and then our light blue mat here ready to go. So we're going to click continue, and it's going to find our machine, and um, I'm going to use the uh, use my maker but you can use any other cutting machine that will cut vinyl and we'll just be once this connects we will be using the vinyl setting to cut so I'll switch you guys over to the camera so you can see how we're gonna do this alright so we're gonna start out with our gray vinyl so this is gonna be for the first piece of our text using 651 permanent vinyl so you want to make sure you're using permanent when you're doing mugs or glasses and so we're just gonna put that on our mat insert it into our machine and cut
So we'll unload our mat. And now we're gonna do our reindeer on this. Whoop. We'll do our reindeer on this red piece of vinyl, also from Auntie Tay. So we'll cut. And while that is cutting, we will just weed this out. So basically, I'm just gonna weed, I'm gonna start by peeling up a piece and we're just gonna be weeding out all of the vinyl that we're not going to need, all the kind of excess vinyl. And then we'll just get rid of the middles of these letters. So we have our first piece of text. And so we'll just weed out our red. So again, with this, with you know, more intricate cuts like this red, you just wanna make sure you really take care of the glass, no um, soaking it, just hand washing only, and really let it cure or sit on the glass, or you know, the vinyl, let it really adhere to the glass for like 24 hours before you use it or before you wash it, and you should be good to go. And you just want to make sure with little intricate pieces like the antlers, they're just really, you really get them on there good. Because I've had some some glasses that I've made like years ago that I still use and I've had no peeling at all. So, all right. So we have our antlers or <laughs> our reindeer. And so now we'll do our blue vinyl piece and then we'll start applying and now here we have the last little part of our text so this is actually already kind of peeled off so I'm just gonna peel off the vinyl that we don't need All right, so that is good to go. We can get rid of our machine. And so I have put um, just some plain rubbing alcohol with a cotton ball onto my coffee mug. I like to do it to the side that um, uh, you'll be actually you know, applying the vinyl to because I just like to get rid of any dirt or any excess grit or anything that's on that. So basically this is how our mug will look super cute and I like to apply my vinyl in I'm gonna put it on in three chunks instead of one big chunk because I feel like it's just easier to put onto a curved surface in one in in multiple chunks so this is the transfer tape I'm using from Auntie Tay it is expressions vinyl um, masking transfer tape. It's freaking amazing. Um, you can get 10% off. Well, you're, you can get 10% off your whole purchase um, with my code, but this stuff is on her website. Um, she sent it to me. It's awesome. So I'm going to start out with this chunk of text here. And again, I like to put them on in multiple chunks just because I feel like it just makes things easier. So I'm just going to bring this down a little bit so you can see. And so we have that on there. And so now we're just going to peel away and you can see it peels off super easy for the most part. <laughs> All right. 
So we're going to put this on. And I like to push down the middle first and then I'll kind of work my way out to the edges, just smoothing it down just kind of with my fingers. And once I get it all down, then I'll go back with my scraper and then just peel away. Super easy. Now I'm gonna go back with the same piece of transfer tape and do these reindeer, same kind of thing. Just being mindful with these like little delicate, intricate pieces. And now, actually, I'm gonna trim this top piece so I can kind of see where this is going on here. I think that looks good, so I'm just gonna smooth it out. And then peel away. And then, so with really intricate cuts like these antlers up here, you do just want to be mindful that um, these are going to be more prone to peeling. Um, so just be really careful when you're washing these. Um, hand wash only. Don't soak them, no microwave, nothing crazy. And they should last just fine. So I'm going back and doing the same exact thing with this blue vinyl. And we're just gonna I swear, I thought I was the only, me and my brother were the only people that thought this quote was funny in this movie. It's one of the best quotes. All right, so there you have it, our super cute mug. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, all my social media is below. Um, use my code, the craft scraps, all lowercase for 10% off Auntie Tay. And happy crafting!